of shows of higher quality is probably better. <laughs> Anyways, it's true. When we were doing that every day, you know, our sets were like 10, 20 minutes long, like four of them, and it was so easy. It was like two songs, and that, that's it. And then well, you go sit in the back. For the zoo, it was also. Uh, it was also, we, the bits were like shaved down to almost nothing, so it's not like you got to get to know the characters a little like we do at our stage shows now. Yeah. It was pretty much play a cover song, play one of your songs, get off stage. And that, so that was, that was kind of how the act was during that 73 days. I'm glad I wasn't a robot then. But you were drumming for us, so you were... You, yeah, you it was great. I was getting in shape, I was learning a new instrument. But you guys had to sit and... Uh, I can't even imagine. Well, I, pa I passed out one time during a song. I remember it was... Uh, what was that one song? Terrible. It was Out in the Rain? I think it was Out in the Rain. Something like that. Yeah. Playing piano or something, and I just had to stagger off stage. Because we had the stuff. sun was right on you guys, and then when you wear that, the Mayron metallic paint, it's just like wearing tin foil. It, it was a, an especially hot day that day. So uh, that's probably something to, to say is, uh, you know, you gotta... Crazy. You're, you're tin foil at that point. If you're, if you're gonna be wearing robo makeup outside, uh, most of it probably will stay on, because uh, a lot of the metallics are... Uh, the, have the alcohol solution, which is a fixative and stuff, so it'll stay on your face. Uh, it won't melt off too bad. We, uh, but yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, your your face is gonna become superheated. And uh, our costumes are all black, so the hats help. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> a little sure. bit. Yeah. Actually, oh yeah. I mean, we've we've walked. We have we had to walk through rain. We'd have to walk in bright sunlight out all day. And those hats are actually really, really helpful. <laughs> That's what hats are for, I guess. I mean, I started, I had a full head of hair when we started, and now it just makes sense to wear a hat. I never wore yeah. hats. I hated hats. Yeah, me too. I don't know. I, my hair just started growing, and it changes colors every day. I... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, so... But now I like, I, I appreciate hats, because I don't want to get sun... Even, I don't want to get doors. cancer on my, on my dome. Yeah, me too. I got a mole right on top of my head, so... But it's a lot of fun, like, as much work as it is. Just I always get to the point. and I pick at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I always get to the point, like, like maybe halfway through the makeup, or when you're just doing the final brush-ups, where I kind of, I have fun with it, and I start, that's when I start playing with it, like adding, like, okay, I want to make this look 3D, or... There's so many iterations, uh, depending on where I'm performing, like, uh, Friday night, I probably didn't need to do too much of a detailed makeup, but I did a super detailed makeup, because I was just feeling inspired, mm -hmm. and, you know, I probably saw it, but uh, sometimes it's just... In some of the like the low quality videos I shoot, it's just like the bare, and it looks awful, but you can't tell because the video resolution. Yeah, good. but now with the 4K that we're shooting in, I mean, you can see that we're not robots. <laughs> to the shock of everyone. <laughs> true. Uh, we should probably take some questions so that way we, yeah, we can guide ourselves. I'm to gonna, what, I'm maybe the audience to... would like us to talk about. Right. right. I think that's the basic spiel that we did the sure. nice over. Uh, you, you can ask about makeup costumes, performing, or anything related to Scene Pirate Giraffe, that's fine. <laughs> I, I, there's there's a, enough, a, a, enough little... What's the, how do you, there's, there's not that many of them, so it's, we, should be, we should be great with whatever you want, answering whatever you guys want. Let's, let's start right here, please. Um, what type of makeup do you use? Like, what's the name of it? Oh, the brand. Excellent question. What, uh, what's the well, type of makeup? The metal is? makeup, the stuff that really is the base of what we do is Mayron metallic makeup. Yeah, right? we use a uh, Maron metallic powder and we, uh, that, it comes in powders and uh -huh. it comes in a variety of colors, silver, copper, bronze, uh, there's some other ones, I think they have like a rose. A rose, a red, a uh, rose, silver, like a peak silver look. Yeah, they, they've come out with a few new, new colors, but uh, you use that and uh, you mix it with an alcohol <laughs> solution, which Maron also makes, called yeah. Maron mixing liquid, and basically all that is is like alcohol with a little bit of hairspray put into it, but you yeah. know, and that's not what it is. It's, a little more formula. But it's, I mean, it's it's great stuff. It stays on. Water, the sweat doesn't take it off. So, you know, when we sweat off our makeup, it's usually the other stuff. The yeah, metal the stays. And, the yeah, the, yeah. and it comes off pretty easy with soap and and just like water. It's really light too. It does. It's not. It's pretty breathable. You should definitely test it on your skin first, just to make sure yeah. you're not like don't have an allergy to. Because uh, I think it does contain aluminum, uh, which. Uh, but if you wear deodorant, any person wearing deodorant, it should be fine. Yeah. But also, Minimize your aluminum intake. I, I'm sure we'll all, we'll all have brain cancer at the end of our lives because <laughs> aluminum. But we'll be rich in our pyramids. <laughs> well, just in the same way that, <laughs> that deodorant causes cancer, right? Yeah. Apparently, like because it's aluminum particles. Uh, uh, Alzheimer's, I think, is what it causes. There's, I mean, we are we're susceptible. But I forget because. But you know, you, you don't have to do it for a living, so you're. It's safe. a good question. Aluminum kills you. 
It's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not like lead poisoning, like with the Wizard of Oz, with the Tin Men. Well, stuff. each of our, the, the biggest example of, I mean, this is not the question, but you're going to need to experiment with makeup types. So, because everyone has different types of skin. All of our Walter workers have had different combination of makeups they've tried. And, uh, Some work better for others than others. Yeah, I mean the, the metal. We all we all kind of make a different solution when we are putting it on. Like we kind of you kind of have to get get the consistency. Correct. Yeah. Because you put too much on, it starts flaking, and then you're just flaking the rest of the day. You don't put enough on, then it's kind of transparent. So there's it's it's not a one and done thing. Once you do it a few times, you definitely make it make it. definitely. Uh, any more questions? Let's go red shirt. Worst, worst conditions, conditions of performance. performances. I mean, I have the. I know the event. I won't say the name, but I'll say where it was. What's that? Uh, we were in L.A. at a at a nightclub oh, doing a show. Gosh. Yeah. And they they had air conditioning, but it, the, it was a it was a room. It was oh, sm yeah. roughly smaller than this, but there was way too many people packed into it, and they had one vent for air conditioner, and um. it was like. You couldn't, you couldn't breathe the oxygen, and you could tell the audience was the same way. I mean, it's different if you're a punk band, and you could take off your shirt and, you know, start dousing yourself with water, but we have to really... I mean, you can imagine the audience, they're, I think they're, they're all dressed in their steampunk Oh my gosh, too. yeah. So they, they must have been feeling bad, but us on about, stage with the I audience. remember we were... You're talking we, about the Roxy, right? That yeah. was one of them. There's but a lot of them. LA's just been horrible to us. Every venue has been like, <laughs> <laughs> their venues, yeah, right their venues are a lot of clubs and stuff. It was, it was bad because we got video from that, I remember, and we were melting like after the first song, and oh, it just, it's it was all, the, all these comments on YouTube like, Steam Power Draft, they're just not trying what they're making anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and plus, yeah, it's, don't read it's that. getting in our yeah. eyes and we're like trying to wipe. I mean, I mean it wasn't like, we sweat like a, a, quite a bit on stage, but I, this was like art. Costumes, even the vest, like un uh, layers, was just I, soaked. If you're talking about the one in the the, sh the like the shed, the what was it, studio type building? Sure, yeah. yeah, I think I was drum. Wasn't I drumming then? I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe either. I was a robot. Yeah, because we put it on in the back. Uh, definitely being sick, or I remember one time I was recovering from food poisoning. Oh, I had food poisoning ooh. the day before a show, and uh, luckily I got it all out. But I was yeah, still like, like I was like, I, I don't know, it wasn't that bad. I think having honestly the worst is. This is internal conditions, I suppose, but having a cold is the worst because you can't. Our our song is very theatrical, and we we require a, a pretty big range for each song and all these harmonies. So whenever that gets shrunk at any point, low end or high end, it really sucks. I mean, we we almost never have perfect conditions for a show. I mean, you know, I was exhausted the week before, and you know, trying to get up to the show, it's. They're like, every once in a while we'll have a show, it's like, wow, we all felt really great. Yeah. But we, almost everyone, someone's sick when we go to do a show, or someone is under the weather, or, you know. Or, uh, or something's just not right. Something just doesn't feel right when you're on stage. And you're just like, I don't know. It's like, it's not even anything that can be blamed on anything. Just like, I don't know. Because, yeah, it would be one thing if all we had to do is go on stage and play music and sing a little bit, but there's a lot that goes into it. So I don't think, so it's, it's tough to get all the pieces working correctly, but from, from the audience point of view, it probably looks... But yeah, I, I don't remember those L.A. shows, but I, I guess I'll just agree, agree with you with that. Yeah, they were probably the... Hot yeah, like, that like any second now, I'm going to pass out, I'm going to die, I'm not going to be able to sing this next song. And, or, I would imagine the zoo is, I mean, I remember the but zoo... But you're outside, you, so you don't feel as claustrophobic even when it is hot. Yeah, but that was the only time where you... you Came off stage and you just like <laughs> fell on the ground. It was bad. And we're like, bad. oh my gosh, yeah. you gonna be able to keep going today? I, I was. But yeah. No, it was pretty. I mean, that was you, when you when you get start getting tunnel vision. You're like, I should probably get off stage. Speaking of the zoo, through every, through the two years I did this, um, uh, I have some sort of allergy or something. I I, oh, I tried so many things during my run. Either animal dander or all the plants. It might be all the flamingo poop that we were directly across. But from. I could not breathe. I could never catch my breath through for two summers in a row. And it, I don't know how I sung because I would be off stage, like laying on the ground, just trying to catch my breath because, yeah, it, nothing helped. Nothing. Absolutely nothing that I took or. Yeah. I'd well, mix in a little flamingo poop with my water every day. <laughs> it was probably that. It was probably just like. And any, anytime I, I go to the zoo, I kind of feel that way a just little take bit. A but uh, yeah, I would say it's probably, it's pretty much uh, the worst conditions are when it's too hot. Uh, one show I remember, they didn't have water for us. Oh. And so we had to go to all show without water and like, that was tough. That was yeah. LA again. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't much, go to LA. Don't much care for LA. Uh, uh, 
let's have another question. Thank you. That was a great question. Honestly, Newton that was a really great seven. question. No, don't don't be shy about your not as great questions. Gabby, please. Um, I know you guys have tried a few brands 